Well, this is Rich Campy, your thinking coach. Today's grin message, I am grateful for the ability to open and shut windows. What windows do you need to open or shut? Open and shut the window? What the heck? Open and shut the window. Lori said this a while ago when we were first going out and I thought it was so powerful. She says, do you have windows open? I was like, windows open? What are you talking about? She's like, windows from your past. Doors that are cracked open that need to be shut. I was like, what do you mean? She's like, people that you were dating or phone numbers on your phone, right? And I thought that is so powerful is that when we make a decision, right? And we know where the word decision comes from. It's a Latin root word of incision. It means to make a real decision, to cut off all of their possibilities. So I question that to you and to me, right? Do we have windows open from the past that need to be shut? Are there new windows that need to be opened up for new opportunities? But make real decisions around those windows that are open or the windows that are shut. Don't be half in, half out, letting the bugs fly into your house, right? So where are you? Did you really shut windows from your past around things that have happened, decisions that you've made? Or are those windows still cracked open so you leave just a little bit? In case it doesn't work out, I can open that window a little bit more. And this might be around decisions you've made in your business, in relationships, in your finances, in your workouts, right? Maybe you're saying, you know what? I'm gonna leave those donuts in the pantry just a little bit longer because if I have this crazy urge that I can still go get them, I'm, I'm probably not, but just in case. So shut the windows. Just go around and shut some windows. Are there some places that you need to cut off the other possibilities? Or if you wanna open the window, then open the window. Right, But don't leave these windows where you've got things half open and you're letting bugs and spiders and things crawl into your space in your brain. Either shut the window or open the window. Don't leave it sort of in the middle, just cracked open just enough that you can go dive into. I remember when I used to chew tobacco, I would just, just in case I had to go get some, I'd leave one tin in my car, just in case. Shut the window, get rid of it, let it go. That, that alcohol that you want to stop doing, that, that bad habit, just let it go, shut the window. If you're going to open the window, then open the window, but make a real decision around that. This is Coach Rich Campy saying, how will you be the first believer, believer to open or shut your window or windows?